Hey, how's it going? How's everybody doing? It is still Sunday, August 25th. Um, it is what, six, going on six o'clock Eastern time here in Ohio. A little warm. I was just outside doing some work around the house outside, cleaning up. I had a got a rose bush out front by my front porch that had some branches grown up into my uh, my chair I have out there. I have one of those. I, I forget what they're called. Uh, they're like a rocker, but not like rocking back and forth like this, but they, they just move back and forth. I forget what they're called. Looks like a little, you know, big enough for like two people to sit in. Yeah, but the, the rose bush was like encroaching. Uh, you couldn't really sit out there without getting hit by the thorns of the rose bush. So, cut it back, and then of course I get everybody. Everybody knows about that 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 dumbass ivy that seems to grow everywhere. Uh, not poison ivy or anything like that. Just just it's just a vine that gets these little white little white like buds on it, and it. It grows everywhere. So I was clearing all that out, cleaning it up a little bit. Uh, next weekend, I'm definitely going to mow the grass again, get it looking good. And then I saw I'm going to have to take off part of the, because the, the bottom of my porch has got like the trellis or a uh, lattice uh, covering it. I'm going to have to maybe cut out a little bit of that enough for where I can get under the porch. The porch is still structurally sound. You know, because it's, it's fully connected and everything. But the one middle section where they had some, um, like, cement blocks st up to add some added support. They've kind of shifted a little bit. They're still right up to the bottom of the porch, but they're they're kind of precarious. So I think I'm going to get underneath. I'm going to buy, a like, a 4x4 four four post, cut it up into small, you know, measure the porch and then add it like four or five inches to it cut them so that I can dig a small hole in there set them down on the ground and then fasten them at the top right where that's at on both sides um, and then fill in the ground uh, either just just pack it real good or put some cement in there I might buy a, a little bag of cement to mix up to set them and then I can take that thing loose and reset it and then I'll just have, you know, I'll leave the posts underneath there, obviously. Um, and then I'll put the lattice back on and it should be good to go. But that'll be next weekend, along with just mowing the grass and just cleaning up. Trying to get some of the winter prep outside done now. Because we're getting, we're starting to get close to where a lot of the, the growing plants are going to kind of get, start going dormant. They're not going to be growing as fast. So I think there's a lot of stuff that I can maybe cut out clean up and even if it does start to grow then I can wait and then trim it back in the spring because it's not going to get enough growth on it before it starts getting cold to, to worry about but yeah did get myself up outside for uh, to set the little projector on when I do outside stuff I was going to try to do it tonight go out there and hook everything up and see how it looks but I think I'm just going to Go down and spend some time in the office. I got a few action figures. I'm going to uh, uh, post in my eBay. I've got. I'm going to take these Funko Pops down and post them. Um, not sure where yet. Uh, I mean, I like doing eBay because when I make sales on eBay, as soon as I print out the shipping label, then literally like the next day the the funds for that sale are deposited into my checking account so it's real quick i wish the other platforms would would do that when you've made a certain amount of sales uh to where you don't have to wait um but it is what it is but at the same time you know it's you know mercari and whatnot they have their place uh you know when you're selling certain stuff some stuff that i might not get any looks at on ebay might sell right away in, in my Macari because I have a lot of people that uh, that follow me on Macari. Uh, I don't have a lot of people on Whatnot, but Whatnot is kind of the site to go for to look for Funko Pops and uh, you know collectibles. So 
I'll probably spread them around a little bit. I mean, I've got one, two, three, four. I've got seven of them down here, and I, there's a couple in the bottom box that I think I'm already, I might already have listed in Macari. So obviously, I won't list another one in Macari. I'll just list it on another platform. And then I'm going to try to do uh, pull out maybe a handful, maybe you know, ten or twelve of the sports cards. Um, maybe a couple autos, a couple numbered parallels and stuff, and then spend some time looking them up, see kind of what they're going for, and then most of those will probably be on eBay. Um, or whatnot. One of those two. So, if any of that sounds good, make sure you follow me um, you know, on all those platforms, selling platforms. Find all that information down below in the description box. I right, mean, we're going to take a little drink here. I am not sponsored by Body Armor, but I love this stuff. Absolutely love it. And it's cheap. Most times you can find it on you know, sale, a dollar a bottle. Well worth the price. Um, a great flavor. Made with coconut water, all natural flavors. Uh, it's got you know, your vitamins in it, and your antioxidants. Great for hydration. Um, it's great even, you know, even if you're not working outside or anything or, or working out if you just want something That tastes really good to drink, but you don't want like carbonation and stuff because that's how I am I mean a lot of times I drink a lot of Mountain Dew and like coke when I'm at work because that's what we have is coke product But there's a lot of times where I I wish I could get like I wish I could get like a Mountain Dew something that tastes exactly like Mountain Dew But it's not carbonated I don't know whether you could do that. I don't know whether that's actually possible because the carbonation might be something that kind of adds to the flavor of most sodas. You know, if it wasn't carbonated, it wouldn't taste the same. But I'm sure they could figure it out. If they really put their minds to it, I think they could figure it out. But when I really want something not carbonated that I know I'm going to enjoy, body armor is what I get. I'm, I'm partial to the orange mango flavor. I mean... I, I could I could drink that every day, um, but I haven't found a bad flavor honestly. Uh, so if you never had Body Armor, uh, check it out. And if anybody from Body Armor happens to see this video and you ever want to sponsor me, you wouldn't have to pay me or anything like that. I don't have a big following, I know, but hey, you could just send me some Body Armor, and I would gladly do this little spiel in every freaking video. So there we go. It is warm. It is warm. It's very humid. Uh, again, which I don't mind the heat. Just the humidity just sucks. All right, what do we want to do? Obviously, you've seen the title. You, you know what we're going to do. But at this moment, I don't know what I want to do. We did baseball in the last one, so let's do basketball. Then. We've got a pack of Don Russ basketball. I believe this is probably 20, 22, 23. They always put the sticker right over where it tells you the the years. And they're impossible to get back off of here. So, I'm not sure what this is. I can't seem to get the sticker off. I don't have really any nails to grab onto it. Alright, I'm just going to... Nope, nope. I don't know whether it's going to... All right. Yeah, 2022-23. I got it off just enough to see. Luckily, I pulled it off right where the the date was. So, let's see what we got out of here. I have no idea. I can never remember what what year of cards are the uh, the Wemby auto, or, uh, rookie cards in. Is that 22-23 or is that 23-24? I don't remember. Or is it even earlier? I guess we'll find out if I pull one out of this. Here we go. We have got Spencer Dinwiddie. Josh Giddy. What is that? Zaire Williams. Brandon Clark. Uh, Malik Monk, 
Joe Ingles. I-N-G-L-E-S, right? That's Ingles. I used to know somebody with the last name Ingles, but I think they spelled it different. We've got Ann Fernie Simons. Herbert Jones. Kawhi Leonard. That's a pretty good one. Decent base card there. Kawhi. He's a good player. Moses Moody. That's a cool name. Cameron Johnson. John Wall. So you can tell that I, you know, it's been a long time since I really paid attention to basketball because a lot of these names I don't recognize. You know, but back in the day, there were a lot that I recognized. All right, I don't know what these next one. This next one's turned over the opposite direction. So, all right, that's it's something bigger. So let's flip it over and go from the back. We might have some rookies in the back here. Then we'll probably have a little more base, and then we'll have the inserts and stuff. Yeah, so the Raider rookies are coming up next. We've got Jaden Hardy. Jalen Williams. Trevor Keels. Kyrie Irving. That's just a base. So we'll be back into regular bases here for a little bit. Miles Turner. Michael Porter Jr. That I A U Do Dus Sinumu. No. I apologize to him for saying his name the way I do, because I'm sure it's wrong. Uh, ben Simmons. There's a Guiana Santa. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name. Okay, it looks like it's got about every letter of the alphabet in it. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. That's pretty good. Pretty good base card, I think. I used to have a Funko Pop of him. I don't think I do anymore. I think I sold it. We got Sadiq Bay. James Harden. That's a pretty good base card. Dewante Murray. Is that what De Dewante. Robert Williams the third. That's a good shot. Like it's from the the view of the basket, man. Worked up a sweat outside. We got Ham, Hamandu, Dialio. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, Corey Kispert. That's all the base. Now we should have some inserts. We have got a Magician's card for Anthony Edwards. That's pretty nice. I've never seen one of those before. Minnesota Timberwolves, number 10 out of the series. I don't know how many were in this uh, insert series. It's a pretty cool card. Next, we have got a Malachi Br Branham Expectations insert, or Great Expectations insert. And the last card, we have got a green Starburst or Sunburst, I don't know what they call them, for Brandon Clark. Very nice if that would have been like a rookie, but it's all right. There we go. Sharp looking guard. All right, not too bad. Paid five bucks for that pack, so I can't complain. All the base cards, obviously, will just go into this box over here. And when people order stuff for me, it makes sense to throw a few extra 
basketball base cards in with it, um, I will. So, that's another reason to buy stuff for me uh, through my selling platforms is whenever possible. And I try to do the shipping as low as possible, but to where I know it don't always work this way. Sometimes, especially like with Kari, occasionally uh, I, I put the shipping a little too low because I like to pack stuff so that I know it's going to get to the person undamaged. You know, the way it leaves here is the way it gets to the to the buyer. So I like to accommodate the weight for, you know, good shipping. Um, you know, bubble wrap and, you know, make sure it's well taped and everything. And to where I can throw in little extras. Um, I try to do that with almost every sale. I don't, I don't do it all the time because sometimes, you know, depending on what I sell the item for, you know, if I've taken like essentially a loss on the, on the item that sold, I'm, you know, I'm not going to throw something extra in because then I'm just eating into my bottom line. Um, it's bad enough to take a loss uh, to try to move some stuff. But whenever possible, I like to throw something in. So, you know, base cards, you know, it's, it's not anything big. It's not anything of, of major value, obviously. You know, most of those base cards might be worth, you know, 25 cents. Some of them maybe 50 cents, somewhere in there. Uh, but it's the thought that counts, right? Everybody likes getting a little bonuses. So, well, there you go. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Um, as always, look up yourself and everyone around us. We have a much better chance of staying safe and healthy. Make sure you stay hydrated. The body armor. Uh, yeah, other than that, Stay tuned. The next the next video will be another pack of the 2020. I'm pretty sure these are 2023. Uh, they have the date right here at the top. Let me see if I can pull this off enough to read it. Yeah, 2023 tops baseball. So stay tuned. See ya.